We'll do the we'll do a furry tier list because it's funny and it'll make people mad. And you guys are welcome to say whatever you want about where I'm ranking them, but I'm probably not going to change my mind. But it's always worth a shot, right? I really, really, really wish that my hands would stop glitching out, you know? My son's whole body glitches out. <laughs> Hopefully not too hard. I think that's called a seizure. Unless you just get the shivers. You know the shivers? Every once in a while you just get the shivers and your entire body's like, Bleh. You may usually make that noise when you shake too. All right, furry species tier list, easy. I mean, it's kind of like a biased tier list to begin with because there's not even androids on the tier list. So like, I can't even rank myself. So you guys are lucky. Pull from a hat. Oh, <laughs> furry tier list, but I just pull from a hat to determine where it goes. That'd be fun. We should do that for one of them. I'll write that down. The, the official furry tier list and all the other ones are wrong. As I said, androids aren't on here. So we'll just like, put those at a tier above S by default. And half of these words I'm probably gonna have to Google because I don't know the exact meaning of all of them. Imagine, imagine. Accipitridae. Man, birds get like three slots on this tier list. Birds are already OP. Right. Hawks, eagles, raptors. I'm not really a bird person. I've seen Rick and Morty and I've seen bird person, but that's not me. Birds are cool though, because everybody wants to fly. Throw something in the middle and then base everything around it. If you don't know where to start, that's always the way to go. All right, yeah, birds prey, right in the middle. Birds, not really my thing, but they're cool. They can fly, they have feathers, feathers are cool, feathers are pretty. All right, the next one, aliens. This depends on the alien, right? You could have like alien from the movie aliens, like the xenomorph, or you could be talking like Garrus from Mass Effect, but that also means a lot of the movies that have aliens that look like humans would also be in this category. I don't know exactly how to classify this, right? Or like, where do you draw the line? What is alien we're using as? Liara and Garrus from Mass Effect? If so, bam, S tier. S tier because if the aliens in scary, because of the aliens in scary movie. In scary movie, the War of the Worlds aliens. Uh, I think S tier just because of Garrus and uh, Liara from Mass Effect. Mark Zuckerberg is in that category. No, Mark Zuckerberg's in the lizard category. He's not in the alien category. Um, I think lizards are on here. Yeah, lizards are down here. This is Zuck. Zuck category is down there. Hey, aliens, I think cooler than birds, right? Because you can have, like, technically there's like an infinite number of possibilities that an alien can be. Anything from like human to gooey mess to whatever. You know, just from variety alone. It's like a shapeshifter, right? Where do you classify a shapeshifter on a tier list? It's kind of cheating. You kind of can't even put it on the tier list, right? Like two OP. Apes. You know, I'm not a big ape or monkey person. I'm gonna be honest. They're okay. They're intelligent. They're pretty cool. They got some some cool features, but not my thing. We, we might be might as well get rid of the F tier, right? And there's no, nothing. Is there anything on here that it's like absolutely? But, but, no, I don't think there's anything on here that would be an F tier. We can just get rid of F tier. Well, just make a I have no idea tier until uh, we might know where to put it. And C tier, yeah, they're okay. There might be, there might be some C tier. Eh, I don't know. I'm pretty like because I'm biased. I mean, they're furries, man. I guess this is the furry tier list. So technically, all of these are as smart as humans, right? So apes don't have that advantage. But apes are generally viewed to be like more intelligent than other furry species, right? Like if you think of like Overwatch, you got Winston, who is like a scientist monkey. Birds of prey, you know, they don't have ears, so they lose points there because I, I like, you know, I like big ears, big ears, definitely. Like plus 10 style points. But they got really, really, really powerful eyes. Apes below raptors, but not bad. A volley. I still don't, is a volley considered an alien or is it the bird space chicken? It's just space chicken, right? Which is an alien. I wanna know what the difference between alien and a volley would be considered. Volley were originally a raptor like pack hunting ammonia based life form. Oh, that's cool, they're ammonia based, okay. Sensitive ears and fluffy feathered bodies. Now they are a chimeric abomination. They were made their first public appearance as a race created in Spore. So they're an alien, they're a version of an alien. Space chick. They're from space. Space is cool. A for space. Not S for space. A for space. Because A is in the middle of the word, which creates more space. They are cooler than birds, just because they're from space. 
Birds aren't from space. Bees. Bees are cool, but there's only, I've only seen like two. They're gonna put bees in, I have no idea for now because there is not nearly enough examples of bees. Bees are pretty cool if you can make them right, but it's like an insect. I'm not a massive fan of insects, but you can be done, done right. I think moths are on here, moths are really cool. Bees in themselves are a tier list, right? No point, bees in no idea for now. Bats, this year. They're cool. They have garbage eyes, but they have really, really, really good ears and their ears are huge. And big ears are always extra points for me. Although the nose is kind of strange. But if you can find a way to make a bat look cool with their strange nose, then uh, extra props. Are bats cooler than aliens? Aliens, again, they're, they're, they're cheater species because they can be anything. Bats are cooler than aliens, confirmed. Because the bats aren't cheating like, like aliens are. Bears, bears are cool. Cooler than apes. Uh, not cooler than birds. Not cooler than raptors, at least. So it'll be B tier is like, yeah, that's pretty cool. C tier will be like, nah, nah, I ain't having it. A tier is like, that's pretty sweet. And then S tier is like, coolest ever. Uh, bovines, they're cool. Nah, uh, but I don't think they're cooler than monkeys. Monkeys have the advantage of hands. I'm not really, you know, hooves, not very useful in the whole grand scheme of the, the world that we've created. Hooves kind of pose a uh, issue. Because have been raised in this uh, society, we live in a society, value some things based on usefulness and hooves would not be ideally useful. Especially while using a gun, yeah. Hooves, not ideal in that situation for sure. Caprines, I'm pretty sure this is goats. Goats, A tier. Just basically just because of Undertale. Wait, way to go, Undertale. Making an entire species go up a tier list. Part of the Ruminate Bovidae, medium sized. Yeah, so it's part of the bovine family, but it's smaller and medium sized, so goats. I'm not, as you can kind of see, I'm not a huge fan of the huge floofs. Like, huge floofs are really cool. I'm very, I don't know. A very warm person overall. Large things tend to be very warm as well, and when there's too much heat, then that's like, that's not comfortable, right? I'd rather be cold. I'd rather smaller, small, small and cute. Not to say there's anything wrong, unless it's winter, and then those here this would be completely different. But we're getting into spring, so it's different. Caribou, cooler than bears, not cooler than raptors, but their antlers extra cool. Yeah, lots of good points. Cats, that's here. Got the big ears, got the cute faces, you got the wiggly butts, you got the tails. They're very agile. I like agile creatures, agile and dexterous. Cetacean. I think that's how you say that. I've, okay, so water based species are very hit or miss, like very intelligent species water species in general but no beans that is a good point they don't have beans 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 is a big point bats can have beans sort of right uh not really cats cats have beans for sure have i just been rating these things on beans so far bovine no beans Bear, bears could have beans so no i haven't okay good good i thought i was just rating this on beans yeah not not like eh, i don't like that but it's like cool i'm not i think it's zelda i blame zelda honestly you play Zelda a couple times, you learn that the water temple gives you a headache, and then you have PTSD from anything water related. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's where all of this comes back to. It's just my me playing Zelda. Cheetahs. If I was a cheetah, I would be in C tier because I would be a very bad cheetah. But cheetahs in general, at the top. I like speedy things. Cheetahs cheetahs go fast. Cooler than bats because they're a cat. I need to chop aliens down to A for alien, just because of the Avali. Because Avali is an alien, right? Avali has to be cooler than an alien. Alien is such a general thing. I'm going to put alien I have no idea for now, but it'll probably be A tier. Yeah, they get the zoomies. Are cheetahs cooler than generalized cats? Just woke up from my nap. Nice. We're uh, playing the furry tier list game where we make everybody mad by raiding furries. Putting apes in is anything better than F tier is a scam. 
There is no F tier. I don't, I don't know what you want from me. Bees and aliens, I have no idea. Aliens is such a general thing because Ivali's an alien. So we'll, we'll put it here. We'll just put a aliens at the bottom of A tier because it's so, so generalized. But Ivali are cooler than little goats for sure. If we were just doing the characters like Asriel and whatnot, Asriel would be S tier, right? God, God form Asriel, S tier, bam. Corvids, I'm pretty sure that's like ravens and stuff. Crows, ravens, yes, crows. Ravens, very elegant, very elegant creatures, very smart creatures. A tier, A for elegant, A A for intelligent. Coyotes, coyote. All right, do you guys say coyote or do you say coyote? Coyote or coyotes? Coyote. -e. S tier. Pretty cool, pretty sly. They got paws, they got beans. They got beans. That's got a beat because of the, the nice fancy ears. The echolocation. They got they got cool mechanics. OP mechanics on bats. Crocodilians. Cool and cetaceans. Crocs. Like I, these guys make good shoes. I'm kidding. That was a bad joke. I'm just imagining like a crocodile furry being like a um, whatever the seamstress version of a shoemaker is. Cobbler. Thank you, Arky. Thank you for being that smart that I don't have. All right, deer. Oh, dear. You're a scam? Oh, okay. What kind of scam? Are we talking like Ed, Ed, Nettie level scam? Where you're just trying to get quarters for jawbreakers? Are we talking like Cars Extended Warranty scam? Is there any really, really, really cool deer that are popular? Rui from Beastars is a deer. Deer, not as cool as aliens, though. Dinosaurs. Old birds. Old, old, old large chickens. Large old chickens. Like for too much scalies or C tier, yeah, that's fair. I mean, as you can see, a lot of the scalies for me are lower down. Even the feathers aren't soft enough. They're like bats, they have floof, or at least this bat has floof. I wonder how much of this I'm basing it on the picture that it gives me too. Dogs, lots of floof. Uh, not as cool as coyotes for sure. Are they cooler than a volley? Like more sly, sly dogs, you know. Like foxes. Foxes are sly dogs. Coyotes are like sly dogs. Dogs, A tier. They're too much. It's based on floof and bean level. Yeah, kind of. Dogs are uh, too loyal, you know? You got to have some spice in your life. Too loyal. A tier. Or maybe less than space chicken tier. Because they're not. dogs aren't from space. Dragons don't exist. But if they did. You know, I could see a... In, okay, I could see a cool, like, story or, like, matchup between a dragon and a coyote. Because coyote is, or, like, even, like, a fox and a dragon, because it would be, like, a... Dragons give off that, like, smug or wise, or I, I guess kind of, like, wise and knowledgeable because they're around so long. Coyotes, more smug. I could see a good story coming out of that. Buddy, buddy cop, something like that. Foxes. Look at this fox picture. Foxes better than dogs. Better than space chickens. Better than dragons. Better than coyotes. Look at this face, though. S plus if it's the dragon from Shrek. <laughs> Just because they're more they're more tricky. They're they're sneaky, tricky, tricky, sneakies. Fur dragons. Okay, fur dragons. You know, it's it's a dragon, but it's got fur too. I'm not even really like a dragon person usually. Like I'm I'm all about the fluff. Dragons don't have fluff. They have they have they have scales. But fur dragons, top, top, top. Griffin, it's basically a bird, but with fur instead of feathers, right? Think of how, how soft, how soft fur is. Would I rather be soft or pretty? Okay, those are, that's the, that's the fur versus feathers argument. And I'd rather be soft or touch something soft than touch something pretty. Cause you, you touch something pretty, you could, you could like damage it. Touch something soft, you're just like, oh, soft. A tier. Horses. D tier. Now uh, you got rid of it. Uh, are horses cooler than apes? I think so. We we can we can like spread this out. We're we're getting too many things in the D tier, right? So we'll do S tier is like best best ever. A tier is like yeah, that's that's hecka cool. B tier is like yeah, yeah, neat. C tier is like yeah, not not my jam. What's not my jam? Bears aren't really my jam. Horses not my jam. Apes, not my jam. Not my jam. There we go. 
Not my jam. Doesn't mean they're bad. They're just not my jam, right? Wouldn't put them on my sandwich. Not with peanut butter, but not cooler than bears. That's where it's go. Hyenas, yeens, yeens up, up top. Yeens up top, for sure. Yeens are like coyotes. They got the smug, but they're like, they're fun. They're crazy. It's more like crazy rather than sneaky, right? Why hasn't there been like a hyena C4 explosive guy in any movie yet? A hyena explosive expert. Bears C tier, horses C tier. Yes. Correct. Now let's see. Yeen, are they better than foxes? I don't know. This picture they gave me of a yeen is pretty like, yeens are better than foxes, I know. Yeans are pretty good, man. They're pretty good. A little crazy, though. Dragons might need to go down to A tier. Just because of... Okay, dragons below griffins. But above space chickens. Although space chickens are from space. Dragons above dogs? Dogs and dragons? Is that like Dungeons and Dragons? Already getting people riled up and you're already done. Fox is greater than yeen. I, yeah, I think foxes are greater than yeen, Arky. I, I agree with you and not, and not wolves here. Look at, like, look at this little fox face. The yeen's got the, the crazy, but I'm much more about the sleek. Kangaroos. Kind of neat. Strong tails. Top of B tier for now. Kangaroos, real cool. Kobolds. Why, why are there like seven versions of the same thing? There's like dragons, kobolds, and I think wi wyverns or wyverns are on here too. Whichever way you like to pronounce it. Do you guys say a wyvern or wyvern? Pretty sure it's supposed to be wyvern. Wyvern's more fun to sl to say though kobolds is just small dragon right i don't like i don't even know like what's the what's the actual difference or what's the actual well here let's look it up kobold reptilian humanoids okay well they lose points already because reptilian means scales dragon does not equal wyvern yeah yeah i wasn't saying that they did i said that there's just like very similar creatures like there's like parrots uh, uh Raptors, like there's a griffin. There's, there's a bunch of different like versions of the same ones, you know. Kobolds serve dragons, smaller, scaly creatures that worship dragons. Okay, well, because they serve dragons, they need to be below dragons. Cause that is how that works. Below kangaroos. There we go. I think we'll mess with this tier list a couple times. Lemurs, kind of cool. I, I don't, I don't have anything good or bad to say about lemurs. I'm gonna be honest. Leopards, bam. Get, get at the top. I don't think I need to explain that, do I? Yeah, you got snaps, you got snappards. Lions, pretty cool. Cats, but um, yeah. Lions cooler than dogs, almost. These ones are like next to each other, side by side. I can't make them side by side, but they would be. Lizards, so Zuckerberg class. Zuckerberg class, we got cooler than horses, not cooler than bears. Furry tier list. Yeah, Recky. We got the furry tier list. We're doing it. What we're going to make as little people angry as possible while also making everybody angry. Lynxes. Top. Top of the tier list. Get, get them up there. Love foxes. Foxes and hyenas, man. I don't know. Dogs A tier. Ah! Yeah, dogs A tier. They're, they're, they're not as cool as dragons. Sorry. I can talk to dragons. Like dragon, they dragons have like tel telepathy, man, or something. I don't know. Uh, depends on the dragon, right? But or they could just speak. They're very wise. Dogs are too loyal. That's why. There's no risk with a dog. There's some risk with a dragon. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why would you do this, right? So anyways, dragons are cooler than dogs. I stand by what I said. Main wolves, up top. Cooler than foxes. Technical wolves not impressed by the by the list. I mean, I haven't I hadn't even done wolves yet. Right? Wolves is way, way down here, right? Wolves is like here. I haven't even put wolves on the list yet. I'll put wolves in C tier. What do we just do? We did lynxes and main wolves. So lynx is up top, we got big ears. Big ears. This is kinda like a big ears tier list, I'm gonna be honest. Like as you go down the tier list, the ears get smaller. Until you're at reptile, which uh, or rest reptile and cetacean, which basically doesn't have ears. Bees don't have ears, but this bee has ears. Mice, pretty cool. Mice, pretty cool, pretty small, pretty cute. Monkeys, cooler than apes, cooler than horses, cooler than lizards, not cooler than bears. They got hands though, and as you go down, you you lose hands. 
Those will show up at your door and in the stream if you put wolves in C tier. They'll be in D tier. I'll, I'll change this to D tier at the end. I'll put them in D tier. Moths, S tier. Moths, yeah, I've seen, I've seen some really cool moths, man. Very, very fuzzy. Moths are very fuzzy. If you guys have actually seen like a moth, they're very actually fuzzy. And they can fly. They kind of look like aliens, but they're not. Mastelidae is weasels, badgers, and otters. I'm pretty sure otters is on here. Okay, so this this is like the same thing almost. See, see what I'm saying? This is weasels, badgers, otters, ferrets, minks, wolverines. Weasels are cute. Otters are cute, badgers are cute, wolverines, eh, minks are very cute. All right, weasels, otters, badgers, badgers. Cooler than dragons? Mm, no, but cooler than dogs. Otters? Not cooler than dogs. Or are they? Otters hold hands while they sleep, so that's cooler than dogs. Owls. Pretty cool. They, they are wise. S tier. Parrots. See, so you got more birds. Parrots? Pretty cool. Kind of chatty. Ravens are cooler than parrots. The parrots are more colorful. Possums. Possums are pretty cool. And there's like the North America opossums, and then there's like Australian possums, which are cute as heck. Possums, A tier. I don't, I, I don't even think I have anything to say about possums. They're pretty cool. Protogen, S tier. And I like the beepers, for sure. Now, give me a protogen leopard. Bam. You've created something too good. Uh, rabbits, pretty cool. They got big feet, they got big ears. They are not as cool as dogs. It's like rabbits and mice next to each other. Mice cooler than rabbits. Leprogen, leprosy. <laughs> you don't like protopard? <laughs> Raccoon. They already have like superhero masks. Red pandas, very cute, very high up. S tier, I think S tier for red pandas. Yeah. Circles, up top. I see, I tend to like species that don't exist. Look at me. Uh, cats, it's circles, circles are pretty cool. Cats cooler than circles. Wolves, not as cool as cheetahs, because cheetahs go fast. Sharks, S tier. I know I said I didn't like, like water-based things, but sharks, very cool. Sharks, cooler than cheetahs. Sharks are really cool. Gunks, hard to place. Below lions. Snakes, very cool. Slithery snakes. Snakes kind of remind me of aliens, but snakes are real cool. Uh, snakes, was it the eyes? The hypnosis, which form of snakes? Snakes up top. Squirrels. Dog versus cat, cat wins. Dogs A tier, cats S tier. Squirrels, uh, cooler than possums. Aliens, cooler, cooler. We might need to move alien up pretty far, right? Move aliens up there. I, I'll, I'll rearrange some stuff once I get everything on the board first. Tigers, A tier at least. At least, cooler than snakes. Now now I'm like doubting my, my opinions. Wolves, S tier. But where in S tier? Not as cool as sharks, right? Not as cool as sharks, but still S tier. We could even drop some stuff out of S tier. Put an A tier to even out the other tiers. African wild dogs. Cooler than snakes. Badgers. Badgers are cool, but not really my jam. Boars. Cool. Again, not my jam. Interesting creatures. I'm going to rearrange like the bottom of these once I get everything on. Cougars. Cooler than tigers. If someone threw a squirrel at you doing 80 miles per hour, what would you do? Probably die. It sounds like something that would hit pretty hard. I would probably die. Elephants, they're cool. Uh, cool. Cooler than dinosaurs. Your cats are cool. Cooler than badgers. I'm not really a fan of that meerkat picture though. Rhinos, cool creatures. Not really my jam, you know? Songbirds. Always look very nice. Always look very pretty. Songbirds, cooler than raptors. No, they aren't. Viveridae. Okay, what is Viveridae? Viveridae. Small to medium size, filiform mammals, 33 species, list of Viveridae. Let's see. Oh, these are like the sm. Hmm. The weasel cats or the bear cats. I'm gonna put these above lemurs. Donkeys, the donkey and Shrek, you know, elevates this by an entire 
thing by default. Entire tier. Giraffes. Giraffes are pretty cool. I still don't get the alien things coming out of a giraffe's head. Are those supposed to be horns? Like, they're covered in fur, right? Someone explain. Can, can a giraffe expert explain to me? Wyvern. Is there a difference between a wyvern and dragon? Dragon has wings, right? No, they both have wings. Wyvern and dragon difference. Dragon has six limbs. Four legs and two legs. Wyvern has four front legs are also the wings. Okay. Shrek movie franchise is carrying the tier list at this point. Kinda. The dragons have arms in addition to their wings. I prefer things to have arms and hands, so not as cool as dragons. That's for they'll go. They'll go behind aliens. There we go. Fennec, Fennec Fox up top. Big ears. Give me rats. Rats are pretty cool creatures. A tier, for sure. Cooler than mice? A little bit. Cooler than skunks? A little bit. And zebra? Hmm. Doesn't have hands. I think this is the last one, too, so we can do a little bit of rearranging after this, too. Zebra is cooler than horses? Yes, because they got, like, the mohawk thing going on. Well, the horses have the mohawk thing going on, too. All right. And now we can see if any of this needs rearranging. So, up top, protogens, leopards. Are protogen cooler than leopards? It's so close. Am I biased because technology? Am I biased strictly because of technology? I think I might be. Mm, no. Protogen's second place because it's a closed species. That's why. Leopard's first place. Fur dragons, cooler than protogens. Fur dragons, pretty cool. Not as cool as protogens because protogens got that technology factor. Cats, pretty cool. Circles, cooler than cats. Uh, cats, cooler than moths. Yep, a little bit. Barely. Moths, very cool. Fennecs, huge ears. Love the Fennecs. The Fennec foxes. So cute. Uh, lynxes. Yep, yep. Sharks, cooler than lynxes. Cheetahs. Okay. Cheetahs, cooler than wolves. Cheetahs go fast. Maned wolves. Let's get the wolves close to each other. Foxes, cooler than wolves. A little bit. Hyenas. Not as cool as wolves. Bats, cooler than hyenas. No, I think this is pretty good up here. Coyotes, cooler than bats. No, I think that's good. Raccoons, pretty cool. Red pandas, cooler than raccoons. Owls. Owls down to A tier. So, griffins, volley. A volley is cooler than an owl. No, this is good. Dragon. I think this is fine. This is good. Cougars. Cooler than tigers. Wild dogs. Snakes. Otters. Cooler than dogs. This doesn't look like an otter, just saying. Lions, rats, skunks, mice, rabbits. I don't know. Someone get pasta in here and ask him what he thinks of sandy cheeks. I need to drop something. Something needs to go. But what is it? Is it squirrels? Is it possums? Is it parrots? Is it corvids? Is it skunks? I think it's skunks. We get skunks down here. The coolest, but not my thing, thing is a skunk. And then kangaroos. Pretty cool, not my thing. Yeah, uh, now I just have bees in the bottom. Or we need to figure out where to put bees. Kobolds, cloak and lemurs. No. Will they be attacked by wolves and attacked by skunks? If you were attacked by wolves, you'd probably be dead. If you'd be attacked by skunks, you'd probably just be smelly. Rather be smelly than dead. Put that on a t-shirt. Deer. Cleared and badgers. Deer. Cleared and meerkats. Raptors. Sometimes people get sprayed and smell better. Oh my god. Bears. We're gonna move bears up tier. And these are, like, this is cool but not my thing. And C tier is like, I just, I just can't. We put rats A. Okay, pasta. Uh, sandy cheeks, smash or pass? I need to figure out where I'm putting squirrels. Smash. Okay. Hard smash. Okay, we'll put... And now I need bees. Where do bees go, guys? B for bees? I think A for bees, right? I think A for bees. I think RQ's right. Below lions. And we drop parrots. How's that look? All right, how's that look? Leopards, protogen, fur, dragon, circles, cats, moths, fennex, lynxes, sharks, cheetahs, foxes, wolves, main wolves, hyenas, bats, coyotes, red panda, raccoons. A tier is owls, griffins, avali, dragons, aliens, wyverns, cougars, tigers, African wild dogs, snakes, astilidae, otters, dogs, lions. Why, why are you ahead of otters? Your otters are just more specified. In fact, we're going to put you below dogs. Otters, dogs, the rest of that family, astilidae, lions, bees, rats, mice, rabbits, squirrels, uh, 
caprines, corvids, possums, skunks, kangaroos. Uh, B-tiers, skunks, kangaroos, viveridae, parrots, lemurs, kobolds, deer, caribou, bears, songbirds, meerkats, badgers, giraffe, donkeys, elephants, crocodilians, dinosaurs. You can see how as the tier list goes down, the ears get smaller and the, the hands or paws to hooves goes up. Your size and flu amount and the bean to hoof ratio, exactly. I think that's a pretty solid tier list.